Hey guys, it's Starla Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining me on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Um, today is going to be an update on cross posting from eBay to Poshmark. Poshfest was just a couple of weeks ago. A lot of resellers went and came home and they were excited and they were making videos and talking about Poshmark. And a lot of people that didn't cross post prior to Poshmark from eBay have begun to do so now, which is great. And I have been handing out my video um, that shows how to cross post from eBay to Poshmark. Uh, it's like my hasty hippo hint video. It's under five minutes. I've been handing it out left and right to folks to help them see how we cross post from eBay to Poshmark and show them an easy way to do it. But then I realized, you know what? That video was made like back in May or June. And the entire way that I cross post now is completely different. I save the photos differently. I use a different tool. Um, I have better photos on Poshmark now. I have a better system for cross posting. And I am a little bit more knowledgeable on Poshmark. So I just wanted to come in today and do an updated screen sharing process with you guys on how I cross post from eBay to Poshmark, um, including the new tool I use for my photos, how I copy and paste and why, and just kind of talk you guys through how I do it now, June clocks, five, six months later, um, now that I have some experience under my belt and I know a little bit more. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do before you start cross posting is to make sure you have a place somewhere to put pictures that you're going to take off of eBay for Poshmark. It can be a folder on your desktop, it can be a folder in your documents, anywhere you want, you can name it whatever you want, but you need to have a specific location that you're going to save these photos to. Then you're going to need to get your snipping tool up and ready to work with. Now everyone should have this on their computer. Now I can't speak for Apple products because we are, we do not use Apple products. So I think you guys have a tool that's similar to the snipping tool that you can use. If you have the snipping tool, that's great. Like I said, we don't use any Apple products. Keith and I um, aren't fans of Apple, so we um, aren't familiar with their systems or what they have. If you don't have a snipping tool right here, mine's probably just there because I use it a lot down here in search programs and files, you can type snipping tool and it will pull it up for you. And then you can just leave it right there like that. It'll show up in your taskbar as well. And then you'll want to make sure on the internet that you are in your active listings on eBay and you're ready and signed in on Poshmark. You can see the hippo hut signed in right there. So then you just pick what you're going to cross post. So I'm going to say that I want to put these gap corduroy pants on Poshmark. And I'm just going to open them up just like this. I'm going to open my snip tool. If I drag from corner to corner here, it makes a perfect square photo. And then you're going to um, just ask snipping tool to save. The first time you do this, you're going to have to pick that location I told you that you needed to make. And I'm just going to name it A. Okay. Now, moving forward, every time you ask your snipping tool to save, it is going to automatically go back to the last place you used. So I'm doing the same thing again with the back photo of the pants. You see how pretty that is? And then I'm going to ask it to save. It'll pull up my location right there. And we'll just call this A1. And then you'll go through and do it for the rest of the photos. Just drag it from corner to corner. You get a nice square photo that you can use for Poshmark. Poshmark likes to have those square photos and this tool allows that to happen precisely and beautifully. It's very simple. So that time I just pressed Control S on my keyboard to save. It's a little bit faster of a shortcut. Then I'm going to highlight my entire title and copy. The reason being is because on Poshmark, unlike eBay, the searches for, for keywords look at your description as well as your title. 
So when people on eBay do a search, it's only going to look at your title. And that's why we always talk about cramming in the keywords and the specific order and the perfect formula for your eBay titles, because that's all the search is looking at. On Poshmark, it looks at your title as well as your description. So if you have a keyword in your description, but not your title that someone searched for, you will come up in the search. Pretty cool, right? So then I'm on Poshmark. You saw me push sell on Poshmark. Poshmark. And now I'm on the page where I'm making a listing and I just have to find my, my place where I save those. Again, this is like the first time you do it. And then after that, it will automatically go to that place for you. And you can click on the first one and then push shift on your keyboard and click on the last one and it will select them all. You can have up to eight on Poshmark if you had more than four, like I have just four for this. You can have up to eight. And then what I do is I go down here and I paste that title that I copied from eBay. And I just kind of pull from that what I want my title here to be. You get less space in your title here. And so I try to like be a little more selective about what I include in my title on Poshmark because I have less space, but because I also know searches are gonna pull from my description as well. So my title's not as important um, as far as keywords and smashing in as many as I can get, I guess. And there is no perfect formula or specific way you need to put stuff in on Poshmark titles. Again, a nice, a nice thing on Poshmark that is different on eBay. So I just kind of put what they are. These are boot cut. I'm talking and typing this. Corduroy pants. That's it. That's all I'm going to put. Maybe I'll put brown. Maybe I'll put gap, boot cut, brown, corduroy pants. That's good enough. Then what I do is I go over to eBay one more time and I go down to my description and I copy that, part of it anyway. And I enter twice and I paste that. And you'll see that I leave the title from eBay in at the bottom, that's fine. I have my description here and I have the title from eBay. It kind of repeats some things in the description here on Poshmark, but I like to have that title down there at the bottom as well as my description from eBay because I'm keyword cramming in my description on Poshmark. Whereas we keyboard keyword cram in the title on eBay on Poshmark, I do it in the description. We get less space in the title and the searches look in both spots. So I do all my keyword cramming here. I select my category. These are going to be pants. These are boot cut. They were a size one. These are small, 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 small person. They're an odd number, so they're probably a juniors. There we go. Does not have tags. A gap. They were brown. <clears throat> These were um, used, not new with tags, so I don't know the original price. You can make up an original price or put the original price if you know what, whatever item you're listing, if you know what it goes for new with tags, you can put that in. If you're familiar, you can make one up. I just put a zero. Now, if I have an item that's new with tags that I'm listing on Posh, I do put in the original MSRP in this spot. I do free shipping on eBay, however, you can ask for more money on Poshmark. So when I take the price I wanted on eBay, I don't subtract the shipping. I put in the full price I wanted on eBay over on Poshmark. You can negotiate over here. You have the opportunity to do offers to likers. You have the opportunity for closet clearouts. You have many opportunities over here to negotiate with people down from a higher price. They also do pay shipping, keep that in mind. But I like to start at the same price on eBay. I know they're paying $6.50 on top of this for shipping, but with this high price, I have room to wiggle. I have room to do those offers to likers. I have room to offer 20% off on Sundays. I have room to do closet clear outs. I have room to make a deal more like 18 to 20, which is kind of what I get on eBay after shipping. Then you click next, list this item, and you're done. And you can peek in your closet and see that it showed up. There it is, it's new, it's right at the top. 
So in summation, you want to create a folder on your computer somewhere, whether it's on your desktop, in your documents, doesn't matter. Create a folder, name it whatever you want. Just know that that's going to be the place that you put your saved pictures from your snipping tool in. And every once in a while, go in and delete it. You don't want it to get too full. You don't want too many items in there. I usually do like A through D and then I delete, or I'll do A through D and then one that's numbered when I save it. So like five-ish items and then I clear it out. So you want your folder where you're putting stuff. You want to open your snipping tool. You want to make sure that you have both eBay um, active listings open and your Poshmark open. And then when you select your item you're going to list, I right click it, open link and new tab. And then I just start snipping away. You just push new and you go from corner to corner and you can ask it to save. And once you've told it one time that you want it in that special folder, it opens it up right there, right away, all the time. And you just keep saving your photos like that and you can upload them all at once here and bring your description and your title over from eBay, fill out the rest of the information. Again, I do suggest listing higher prices on Poshmark than you do on eBay. One, people on Poshmark will pay more, and number two, it gives you negotiating room. And that's it. All right guys, so there you have it. There is the updated way that I cross post to Poshmark from eBay. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully I was able to help some of you learn something new or streamline your process in some way. Do me a favor, smash that like button down below. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.